In the last lecture, we learned how to create a class based component and how to pass props values to a class based component. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how we can manage states and events in a class based component. When we work with a functional component, there we use the use state react hook to manage states. But when working with class based component, we don't have react hooks. So, to define a state for a class based component, first we need to use a constructor. For that, we use this constructor keyword and we create a constructor for that class. So here we are creating a constructor for this demo class. This constructor will be automatically called whenever the class is instantiated. That means whenever this demo class is instantiated and this will happen when react encounters this class being used as a component. For example, we are using this demo class as a component inside this app component. So when the react will encounter this line, it is going to instantiate this demo class and when that demo class will be instantiated the first thing which will happen is this constructor will be called now here when we are creating this constructor our demo class is also inheriting from this component class so inside the constructor the first thing which we need to do is we need to call the constructor of this component class from which this demo class is inheriting and to call the constructor of this component class all we have to do is we have to use this super keyword and we have to call it like this so when we are calling this super like this internally it is going to call the constructor of component class and remember that this is mandatory because when your class inherits from another class in that case in the constructor of that class you must call the parent class constructor and you can call the parent class constructor by using this super keyword now inside this constructor let's go ahead and let's create a state and let's initialize it and to do that what we can do is we can say this dot state so using this state property on this variable we can create a state and keep in mind that this name should always be state it cannot be anything else so in a class based component when you want to create a state you use this state property and you access this state property on this keyword and to this you need to assign an object so again this is also very important in case of a class based component your state is always an object you cannot assign a numeric value or a string value to this state so for example in the functional based components when we use use state there we can assign a value of any type to the state but in case of a class based component when we are creating a state using this state property to this we need to assign an object we cannot assign anything else to this state property all right now inside these curly braces inside this object you can create as many states as you want and all those states will be managed together using this state property for now i only want to have one state and i'm going to call this state maybe show paragraph and initially i will set it to true now here if you want to have more state for example let's say count then using comma you can create another state and to this you can assign an initial value like this so now here we are managing multiple states now we want to update this state for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a button element here and i will call this maybe show and on this button element let's go ahead and let's add on click handler and to this i'm going to assign an event handler function and i'll call this event handler function toggle paragraph let's go ahead and let's create this function now here we need to create it as a method so a class does not have a function it has a method and to create a method inside a class all we have to do is we have to specify the name of the method followed by parenthesis like this so this is the new es6 way of creating a method inside a class so this method is going to be our event handler method so what we want is when the show button is clicked we want to call this toggle paragraph method and inside that method we want to set the value of this show paragraph to false for that here we need to update the state value and we cannot do it something like this so i cannot say this dot state dot show paragraph equals false i cannot do it like this so this is not the correct way the correct way is here on this variable i can call a method called set state and using this set state method we can set the state value and to the set state also we need to pass an object 
and in this object we can specify new values for our state so here i want to set this show paragraph to false initially it is true now when this button is clicked when the show button is clicked i want to set it to false so this is how we can update a state in class based component using this set state method and here also a very important point to remember is that this object is not going to override this object so in this object we have two states but here using this set state we are specifying only one property inside this object so we are only updating one state that does not mean that this object will replace this object here when we are specifying only one property only one state what will happen is this state in the original state object that will be updated with this value false but this count state will still be there it will not be lost okay so the object which we are passing here to this set state method it is not going to override the old state instead behind the scenes react will merge the new state object with old state object in this example it will merge this property and it will update it with this new value false here in this old object and it will also keep this count state it is not going to remove this count state and this set state method is again provided by this component class now just like state updating function in function based components to this set state we can also pass a callback function so here i can pass a callback function like this and this callback function will receive the current state snapshot so let's call it maybe current state and based on this current state we can update the new state so here also we need to return an object inside this object we want to set this show paragraph so i'll copy that state name here and i want to set it to the inverted value which this show paragraph already has so initially the value of this show paragraph is true so when this show button will be clicked i want to set its value to false so the new value of this show paragraph will be false if this show button is clicked again then i want to set this show paragraph to true so previous value is false new value should be true so in this way i want to invert the previous value of this show paragraph and i want to assign it back so again what i can do is i can say current state so this current state is going to store the state object and on that current state i am going to call this show paragraph and i am going to invert its value using this not operator okay so in this way we are updating the state value now we want to use this show paragraph state so what i want is when this show button is clicked i want to show this paragraph but if it is clicked again in that case i want to hide this paragraph so basically here i want to provide a toggle functionality for that let's use these curly braces here and here we want to render the content dynamically so here i will say if this show paragraph is true and i will use this end operator okay and here it should be this dot state dot show paragraph okay so this is how we can use the state by accessing that state on this this dot state property now this toggle paragraph is a method of this demo class so we cannot access it like this again what we need to do is we need to access this toggle paragraph on this keyword so we can say this dot toggle paragraph now inside this toggle paragraph here this variable should point to an instance of this demo class but currently if i go ahead and if i try to log this variable here so if i say console dot log and if we log this variable and for now let me comment these code let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's inspect developer console so here when i click on this show button you will notice that undefined is logged here so that means currently this variable here is pointing to undefined it is not pointing to anything but inside this function inside this toggle paragraph method we want this variable to point to an instance of this demo class for that on this toggle paragraph we can call another javascript method which is bind and here we want to bind that means we want to set this variable inside this toggle paragraph to the current instance of demo class so here i can pass this 
okay so basically currently when i am using this variable here here this variable is pointing to an instance of this demo class but inside this toggle paragraph method this variable is not pointing to anything so i'm trying to bind this variable inside this toggle paragraph to point to an instance of this demo class now if this is confusing then i'll share a link in the description to learn how this variable works in javascript okay but for now if i save the changes and if i go to the web page and now if i click on this show button now you will notice that this variable is pointing to an instance of this demo class all right now let's go back to vs code let's comment this console.log statement and let's uncomment this code here and with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me reload the page so initially this show paragraph state is set to true and when it is true we want to display this paragraph in the web page but when i click on this show button here what will happen is this show paragraph state it will be set to false and when it is set to false we don't want to display this paragraph in the web page so if i go to the web page and when i click on this show button you will notice that that paragraph is hidden now if i click on this show button again again that paragraph appears so this button is working as expected the only thing confusing here is the name so what i'm going to do is let's set this name the value for this button element dynamically so here let's use these curly braces and here again let's go ahead and let's use this this dot state dot show paragraph so this show paragraph state so if this show paragraph is true in that case i want to set the value of this button to hide otherwise if this show paragraph is false in that case i want to set it to show so if we save the changes if we go to the web page so you can see that currently the show paragraph is set to true in that case it is showing this value hide for this button when i click on this button it has hidden the paragraph and now it is showing show when i click on this button the paragraph is visible and the button says hide so this is how we can work with state and events in class based component this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day